We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Well, that's fine by me. And you can go to Oblivion for all I, I care. Oh, fine. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Uh, someone help me. We're so high the up. Toll I, I can took. see Red Mountain from here. The toll I took from my battle with Alduin. My archmage robes, they're torn. Come on. Help me back to my quarters. No, oh, the robes. They're falling off. They're so badly damaged in the fight. Come on, help me. I feel so weak and so powerless now. How? How will I ever rule this world? I do truly enjoy traveling. I love seeing new places, the way people live, ponder at the stories and events that have happened in the past. But I do inevitably feel the longing of home after some time. I haven't had a place to call home for a long time now. You know what? You're killing the moment. I've been beaten. The Archmaid's robes totally destroyed and ripped from my body. I have very little power left after my fight with Alduin. And all you can talk about is home. Come on. I need to get somewhere. Where I can take a... a long... I'm happy long to see you rest. too, but not in that way. And you can keep your comments to yourself. I can't believe I've dragged myself the all the way of destruction back here. is terrifying. You could destroy an entire city in a matter of seconds if you wanted to. Well, that won't be happening anytime soon in my weakened condition. Where is Esburn? This way. I still can't get over how badly I was beaten by Alduin, even though I defeated him, in quotes. The toll that it took on me and my powers is just immeasurable. Please cover yourself. You're indecent. Listen. The Archmage robes were destroyed. I need new clothes. If you're going to conjure them, that's fine. But in the meantime, just be quiet. Let's go. I can't believe I've ascended to level 42 and I still feel as weak as though I were level 10. I've never been so humiliated in my battle with... Hello. Alduin. So this is what you do when I'm not here. Nice. Did you find the Elder Scroll? What <laughs> happened when you took it back? To the throat of the world. Oh, I don't know if you want to know what happened, but I'll tell you. Did you find the Elder Scroll? 
What happened when you took it back to the throat of the world? I barely defeated Alduin. I was defeated multiple times. And the Archmage robes sacrificed in the epic fight. And Alduin escaped. And at some point, when I regain my power, I need to find him. He must have returned to Sovngarde. Sovngarde? To feed the souls of the dead. If you don't find him soon, he'll return stronger than ever. Mm. Well, then we're all doomed if that's the case. The way I feel right now, I know he's going to come back stronger. And that's why, one day, when I'm more powerful, I need to find him. Ah, yes, yes, we must think. He must have some means of traveling to and from Sovngarde, but no tale tells where that might be. His dragon allies must know where this portal is. Very true. I wonder, do you know the Jarl's Palace in Whiterun? What do you mean, do I know it? Of course, I live in Whiterun. Do you mean Dragon Reach? Yes. Exactly. M most people don't know that it was originally built to hold a captive dragon, hence its name. So, if I could lure a dragon into Dragon Reach? You could trap him there, exactly. Although, it might be difficult to persuade the Jarl to allow you to use his palace as a dragon trap. I'm sure you'll manage, though. If you can defeat the World Eater, surely sweet-talking the Jarl of Whiterun isn't beyond you. Hmm. I'm afraid there's a further problem. A serious what? One. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. <laughs> oh, really? Then you've discovered that he's a dragon. But he's on our side. All well and good. But did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant? In oh, a times? lieutenant? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. What? As weakened as I am, you won't aid me? About Parthenax. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Hmm, it's so final. Why does he need to die? He could serve by my side. When the new order begins. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. You keep saying that. All right. I'm leaving. That's all. Hmm? That is all. And you are dismissed. Zell says, I need some armor. I don't think I can afford to walk around in robes anymore. And I need some rest. I suppose I can rest here at the Blades Sanctuary. Hopefully they won't try to cut my throat for siding with Parthenax.
And then, somehow, I need to re I redouble my efforts to get my power back. I feel like I can barely do anything right now. It's beyond me to control time, to levitate in the air, <laughs> to cast a master spell. Where, where are the bedrooms anyway? I mean, I, I feel dizzy, weak. I can't believe that Alduin is, is so powerful. And here I thought it was going to be easy to take over the world. And look at me now, naked, after a fight with a dragon. Naked and powerless. I think I'm going to sleep for 24 hours, at least. Aren't there bedrooms? Yes, here's, here's some beds over here. And I need you women to keep it down while I'm sleeping. All right, good night to you all. In the dream, Alduin stood on the mountain peak beside you, both of you trembling from fierce battle Akatosh firstborn looked sidelong at you, at me, and when I met his eyes, I saw a million million souls giving their last screams within. With a flurry of movement, I thrust my weapon into the dragon's heart. Alduin stared at me, dark and amused, and he began to laugh. A laugh that echoed cruelly across the mountaintops. He grew larger in my regard. Larger still until his wings blotted out the sky. Oh. Oh. Now I'm having nightmares about Alduin. All right, let's go. I need to find some clothes. At least I feel marginally stronger now. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Well, that's fine by me. And you can go to Oblivion for all I, I care. Oh, fine. What was that chest? Interesting. All right, we've arrived in solitude. It's time that I solve the mystery of this woman that believes that she's my sister. So, 
Zelzaz, I hope you approve of my new gear. Armored now, so that it should help me in combat. Perhaps not combat to defeat Alduin, but combat none the same. Let's go. I'm ready to redeem myself rather than be on my knees at the mercy of a dragon. There's no telling what we're going to be in for. I believe this is the ship here. Some of my favorite foods are ones that are infused with hissed sap. I describe the flavor of hissed sap as ephemeral. The supplies have been stolen. It gives you a longing for the infinite. Are you certain he'll That's show? Difficult to explain. Stay where you are. This will only take a second. I need to look into your eyes. He'll be here. You've truly mastered the art of a first impression. Just stop moving around so I can see. Hmm. No signs of vampirism. Open your mouth. What? Good, like that. But hold it a little bit longer. Ah. Mm. This one's clear of lycanthropy, too. Now, for the Oath of Purity. Note that any form of deception will incite the wrath of Stendar, whose reach extends to all four corners of Tamriel. Now, repeat after me. I, state your name, do hereby solemnly swear. You're starting to get on my nerves, woman. I state your name, do hereby solemnly swear. I'll have you know that satire during the Oath of Purity is a punishable offense. Now please, do it right. I'd have a care if I were you. I, Zavros, do hereby solemnly swear that I have no intention to attempt the forbidden practice of Daedra worship. I don't swear to that. So help me, Stendar. So help you. May this oath bind me, and should I stray from it, I'll have nothing to do with this cursed oath. May Stendar have mercy on my soul, for the vigil will not. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Welcome aboard. <laughs> Looks like I'm boarding a ship of fools. Uh, sorry about that. Catri can be a little... zealous at times. It comes with being vigilant, I guess. But she means well. Hmm. So this is your ship. Speaking of fools... I know we aren't exactly in for a royal voyage, but it's the best 5,000 septums can buy. It'll get us there in one piece. I hope. Hmm. And when are we leaving? We'll set sail as soon as you're below deck. Until then, feel free to meet the crew and get settled in. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. All right, come on. I'm glad to see you two are still with me. Good morning. I can use some competent company. Hello. Hello. Greetings. By Talos, are you really the dragonborn of ancient Nordic legend? The one who killed the fearsome dragon of Whiterun with just a mere glance of disapproval? Oh, and is it true that you can consume 30 cheese wheels mid-combat without breaking a sweat? And what about the rumor that you could ride a horse completely perpendicular? This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. My tale appears to be somewhat 
exaggerated. So, 20 cheese wheels then. That's still pretty amazing. <sighs> Imagine the look on my little sister's face when I tell her I spoke with the Dragonborn. She won't believe it! Uh, I could think of at least a hundred novels that could be derived from your adventures. And how do you know Uriel? I'm a writer, you see. Tia Alto, at your service. When I heard about your sister's adventure, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for some ideas for my latest novel. Maiden of the Sea, the romantic tale of a princess who voyages into the unknown to find a cure for her sickly sister. I can't wait to get started on it. But of course, I have to allow myself to experience her journey firsthand so that I could better connect with my readers. What do you think? Um, yeah. I don't care. Oh, I... Um... Right. Are you always this obnoxious? I'm... being obnoxious? I'm just kind of nervous, I guess. <laughs> Here I am, talking with the real Dragonborn. It's just... hard to wrap my head around. <laughs> I'm sorry. Real is only a uh, interpretation. I am the Dragonborn, yes, but not the Dragonborn that you would expect me to be. I should go. What do you mean? Like an argument? No, I mean I should go. See you around. All right, I've already met you. Good morning, Dover. Something you need? State your business. Greetings. I hope you know earlier was just a precaution. Nothing personal. Hmm. Well, do you know that I used to be a werewolf? <laughs> Lucky for you, I renounced that power to travel here to this world. Now, I should go. Don't let me keep you. Oh, I won't. Hmm, you look familiar. Yeah? Greetings. Welcome aboard, my friend. I don't believe we were able to get properly acquainted earlier. No, we weren't. Name's Hayden. I'm the pilot of this vessel. Oh, the pilot, are you? And how do you know Ariel? Ah, now that's a fascinating story. She burst into the winking skeever late one evening as if a dragon were in pursuit. Told everyone she was looking to hire a ship to venture to the border of Hammerfell, and for a mere 5,000 septums at that. Everyone else laughed. But you didn't? Of course not. I had a mouthful of spiced wine at the time. <laughs> and you were the only one willing to help her. I was the only one drunk enough to think it was a jest, so we played along. Turns out it wasn't, and well, here I am. <laughs> Captain of the newly acquired SS Deficit at your service. Newly acquired? Oh, right. Must have left that part out. You see, uh, how do I put this? I didn't exactly have a ship when I made the offer, and uh, technically, I still don't. Then whose ship are we on? I am not to find out, my friend. Which is why I'd suggest departing as soon as we can, if you don't mind the request. <laughs> my guards are getting suspicious. Really? So you're a con artist? Not quite. I'm just a Nord who fully commits to his questionable life choices. Hmm. But don't worry about that. I'll get the ship to its destination one way or another. You have my word. All right, I should go. The sooner we leave, the better. Yes, Just I imagine. Just as a reminder. I don't know, what do you two think? You might be going on a long voyage. Still here? No, oh, it's you. Ah, oh, yes, another familiar face. 
Speak your piece. Greetings. Ah, Dovahkiin. I heard about your duel with the mighty dragon of Whiterun. Oh, here we go. Now, the dungeons of a madman were hardly the place to speak on such matters. I am honored to serve beside a warrior of your particular valiance and nobility. And how do you know, Ariel? I overheard the Solitude Guards talking about a woman assembling a crew to track down her lost parents. As someone who lost his father at a young age, I could empathize. And as a Knight of the Thorn, I recognized my sworn duty to offer my sword to those in need. The choice was clear. Knight of the Thorn? I know what you're thinking. But our order has made substantial progress since its founding. We're no longer the inept kinship of drunken derelicts our reputation would indicate. <laughs> We're a league of disciplined and virtuous warriors now. Right. Well, good luck shaking that reputation. It has been difficult, but I hold to the belief that it can be done. <laughs> One day, the arrival of a Knight of the Thorn will bring hope and relief to the desperate. And I want to be alive to see it. I should go. Of course, Dovahkiin. It was an honor to speak with you. What's this? Romance dialogue. I say... You disable this. I'm not here for romance, or making friends. Dovahkiin. Silence, you're dismissed. Good morning. <laughs> I've got All right then, I suppose I'm ready to set sail. Set sail on a ship of fools. All right, I'm finally ready. I had a change of heart for a moment and thought that I needed to prepare myself more for this voyage. I took the time to send my followers away so that I could deal with this personal family matter that they didn't need to be involved in. Give them some time for some R&R, &R, but also to keep on the lookout for Alduin and his mechanizations for destroying this world which I can't allow. And also, in the meantime, I went back to the College of Winterhold and got master's degrees in conjuration, alteration, illusion, and destruction. My level is now 47. I also took the time to have my armor improved and altered my uniform slightly and my weapons as well, all improved. So now I've also learned a plethora of spells including master spells. So if there is anything to whatever is going on with your parents, I should have the power to stop it. All right, so is this motley crew ready? Good morning. Good morning. Let's go. What is it? We're leaving. This could be a long voyage. So I think I'm prepared for it now. I am concerned about Alduin, though. What if while I'm gone, he should make his move on the destruction of Nern? Well, hopefully my followers and the Blades will be able to keep him at bay until I return. Hmm. 
this. These quarters are very unkempt. Looks like the quarters and smells like the quarters of an alcoholic. Not even a wine bottle has rolled here into what I presume to be my room. Oh, we have an enchanter on board. Nice. Mm, the ship is more like a maze than anything else. All right, well, hopefully I'll learn my way around. But for now, I think it's time for me to get some rest as we begin our cruise. like Dramora and an Oblivion Save Gate. Sleep well. Best rouse yourself. You're needed above deck. Wait, was... I thought that was someone naked. Hmm. This is odd, my... Spell is activated to protect me. I must have done it instinctively in my sleep. Well, this is interesting. I guess this gives me some idea of what her parents must be up against. Port side! Port side! What's going on? I see it! This thing doesn't turn on a septum! Everyone, hold on to something. What is going on? Ah! Oh, oh, this can't be happening! Everyone what? okay? What? Oh, what just happened? I don't think my arm is supposed to bend like that. How did this happen? Probably should How far off course are we? We're not. What do you mean? I mean, this island doesn't exist. It's not on the map. There's nothing but open waters for 500 miles. Evidently not. This is what we get for hiring a drunk as a pilot. You want to check the Atlas? Be my guest, Valor Boy. Bickering amongst yourselves won't solve anything. We need to assess the damage. Something you need? Uh, why are you Doviki. calling my name? Yes. What is it? Well met. All right, let's get outside and see where we are. And raining on top of everything else. really have got to be kidding me. Here I am trying to help this deluded girl's parents, this girl who thinks I'm her brother, and I end up shipwrecked on an island. Yeah? Well... Yes, brother? Don't call me brother. How's it look? Do you think it will leak? <laughs> There's a massive hole. Surely you can see that. <sighs> Just our luck. Just my luck. Well, I suppose we should take a look around. If this place is inhabited, there should be somewhere to buy materials for a repair. Take who you want with you. The rest of us will stay here and keep an eye out for anything looking to profit of our misfortune. Hmm, and now you presume to give me orders. I think you should remember your place. And why are you putting me in charge of this? 
I don't see why it should be anyone else. If this plot of land isn't registered on the official topographical depiction of Tamriel, there's no telling what's out there. You have more experience with uncharted exploration than the rest of us. Unless the tales of your adventures have been exaggerated. Well, some of them have, according to, uh, whoever that scribe is, that woman. But anyhow, I'll let this go for now, and I'll see what we can find. I'll tell the others that you're in charge until we can correct this situation. If they give you any lip, let me know. Oh, and don't take any unnecessary risks out there, okay? Oh, well, that's kind of you. But you can't put me in charge and then tell me how to do my job. You're right. Just take it as a suggestion, will you? I'd rather not lose you out wherever we are. So touching. All right, who are we taking? All right, that this party will do. All right, let's go. We should keep moving. I need to keep my eye on you, sister. Looks like you've gone to a face sculptor and gone to pains to make yourself look like a dark elf. Only you couldn't conceive of the fact that your brother is actually a brown elf from another dimension. Let's go. that I should tell about my dream. I wonder. An oblivion gate. Look, there's someone here. Don't just stand there, you blundering oaf. Run! Why? Why should we? I'm not gonna die explaining. All right, let's follow her. Quick, to higher ground. Be any time now. Three, two, one. Negative one. Uh, um, negative one and a half. I'm all ears. As am want? I. What was supposed to happen? It's Mount Andor. By my assessment, the eruption should be taking place soon. Very, very soon. Mount Andor? You new here or something? Yes, I am. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let me be the first to congratulate your poor timing. Regardless, we should focus on the mountain for now. I don't want to miss it. Need anything? All right. Any time now. Huh. That's... Bizarre. We should have seen it by now. All the signs were there. It's as if nature itself went against its very own... Well, nature. Fascinating. Yet, disappointing. <sighs> Mostly just disappointing. So, we're safe then? We're never safe. Not in this place. But at least the volcano won't claim our lives. Yet. I want to ask you a few questions. I'll be happy to answer. For a price. <laughs> and just how much gold do you want? Gold? What's a gold? What? You don't trade gold here? Never heard of it. The currency is seashells here. Seashells. But that's of little relevance. I'm not interested in profit. And what is your price? You're new here, right? So, you must have a ship. How badly is it damaged? Hmm. 
How do you know it's damaged at all? No ships wash ashore unscathed. This island is a menace to every heedless vessel it swallows up. It has a hole in it. Just a hole? That's incredible. In exchange for information, I ask for a place among your crew. If by some miracle you manage a successful repair, I want off this rock. All right, deal. What do you want to know? Is there a way off this island? None that have worked. Every few years, someone attempts to flee. The swimmers get ripped apart by sharks or octopi. The sailors wash back ashore on the remains of their ship. We even had to scrape a wizard attempting teleportation off the side of Mount Andor once. This island has an obsession with keeping its residents contained. I don't know if you believe in curses, but now's a good time to start. And why do you want off this island? Village wars, an active volcano, dangerous sightings, monster attacks. Take your pick. Sometimes I think the gods keep us here just to take bets on how we'll perish. Interesting. I had a dream of this island before we arrived. Can anyone interpret it? I'd keep quiet about that if I were you. Newcomers who have dreams of this place usually end up disappearing. Has anyone gotten away successfully? There was one. A child. No older than uh, 15 or so. That was years ago. No one's been able to replicate it since. So you say they're Daedra here? More than I'm comfortable with. I keep as much distance between me and those creatures as possible. Kind of have a thing for keeping my organs on the inside. Other islanders could tell you more. And what do you do here? I'm the local volcanologist. Or uh, so I believe the title is. Volcanologist? I study is it? Mount Andor and alert the others of my tribe when it's about to go off. Hmm, you aren't a very good volcanologist, apparently. All the signs were there. The steam, the pressure, the boiling. Had it followed its natural course, we'd be surrounded by liquid flame. I think some external force is at work. I know that sounds implausible, but I have my suspicions. And did you alert your tribe today? Of course not. I look forward to the day molten lava consumes their wretched souls. Every last one of them. <laughs> yes. Yes, I like that. Yeah, so I'm told. <laughs> Do you know where I can buy supplies? You could speak to the traders of the four villages on the island. Just don't get your hopes up. Their stock is often... disappointing. All right, well, the ship isn't far from here. Maybe you should join us. You can join our party for now, and we'll go to the ship later. I don't do well in crowds. Who will you send away in my place? Hmm. Hayden. All right. Lead on. All right, I... Not sure where we need to go, but there do seem to be some markers out here somewhere.
Something's here. Some sort of a lobster creature. There's another one. Next time you won't get so lucky. Let's spill some coffee. Let's go. Yeah, it's finished. Don't be shy. Probably longer. No, oh, this looks like some sort of uh, village. can I do for you? Well, hello. Hello. Hi there. Hi. We won't be getting anything more from you. Yes. Hello. Tidings. Where can I purchase materials to repair our shipwreck? You could try the trader from Norsted Village. I'm told he has a larger selection than most. All right, thank you. Do you know of anyone who can interpret dreams? Hmm. Deja worshipping filth. What? I take that as a no. You, sir. Speak. Do you know anyone who can interpret dreams? Hmm. Deja worshipping filth. <laughs> Where can I purchase materials to repair our shipwreck? You could try the trader from the Norstead village. I'm told he has a larger selection than most. All right then. What about you? Yeah? Hmm? All right. I saw someone crossing this bridge, as she goes. You there. Well, hello. Hello. Oh. Talk to you already. All right, then. I see that we have no other choice then but to head to the northern village. <laughs> <laughs> 